and we are playing this KP game, the Enigma Mansion 3 Revival by Bamgrum. Let's start a new game, and it's a short story continuation from the first two parts. So let's just keep it and have a pleasure of solving puzzle. So, and this game has a lot of jump scares, so you are warned about them and uh, here is the hint we will use it later now let's check all these bookshelves here we can find a key and a chest chest has two buttons up and down so let's go and take the hint hint is written here down up up down up and so on using the sequence we can open the chest so we have down up and up down up down down up up down and up we want chest queen uh, further we go and here in the plant we can see the uh, dragon scale let's take it and go further checking these places just a shadow so next let's go back a bit and take the hint from this note so here we can see a starting point and the end point and we need to walk from path for like one two three four five six seven and eight let's draw the same path to open the door to go to the uh, second uh, floor so we need to draw it like oops one two three four five six and seven so the door is open but before going there let's check this place and these bushes here's the going to take and here we have nothing to solve that puzzle we need to find a ring okay let's go to the second floor going to the left this way is to move and nothing under it checking the shelves also nothing there these bookshelves this flower so it's an empty position going to the right we need to check all these flowers and so on now here's the puzzle to solve and to make the picture of a sun this red cross is a clue so we need to make this picture ways to make sunbeams and that's the bottom two remaining pieces are easy to fit so we want paper also one more token there behind the books we can find the book it's a diary that is used to fit all these torn pages too so we have only one page let's try to place somewhere and here we have a hint but we will use this hint a bit later 
a chest and we need to use the key on it this key is not from this chest now let's open this door the lock is opened and we can open the door to go to the next floor but let's let's uh, check this place and here's a puzzle and we have tokens from it so let's place them and how to arrange them we will find the hint a bit later checking all these places and a small jump scare and go into the third floor also here we have a map to quickly run from one floor to another okay going again to the left this puzzle is locked with the chain so first we need to find the key here are two beetles are missing behind this flower here is a ring that you have seen a puzzle already and let's go down and solve that puzzle now it seems to be at the very first floor so here it is let's place it So we can see the image is drawn and it is not hard to solve that puzzle. Okay, let's align this dragon to look to the right. Like that. And now it worked, so we can open it and get the flower. Uh, jump into the third room, and let's go to the left and check for nothing is left here. This flower to check. Here we are just to rotate these tiles to make picture complete now something is not good and now it is good and the same thing So here's a coin to take. Let's also we need to check between beneath these bottles on all of these shelves. Or oh, there are useful items can be hidden. So here you can see a key. Let's take it. And here's a place to use one of these dragon scales. A second we will find later flowers, shelves, drawers, a gear, and an image with the flowers, so we need to remember these patterns for we will use them later. Now we have this door with levers and to open the door we need to look at this book for there is a hint in it. Here we can see the hint and these uh, black books are looking to the left, down, up and up. So let's rotate them. Left, down, up and up. The door is opened and we can try to go uh, upper. Let's also check this place for we need to
to find years, one we have, and second to be found later. A piece of paper to get the hint. Now let's check these shelves. Here's another key to take, and here's the lock. We have two keys. Let's check both. Both are not suitable for this place. An image, we will do something with it a bit later. Both keys are not from this coffin. So now let's solve this puzzle. We can see that there are images on these uh, stars and the same images we have seen already. So we are in this room. Here we have seen them on this flower. So equation dot vertical and wave. Let's set the same equation or horizontal dot vertical and wait for this corner. Now the door is open and we can walk there, so let's check what we can find here. Here's a picture and behind this picture here's a part of the page, but we can see it is uh, not white, it's beige, so, so it is for the one of the pictures on the wall. This skull, we need to move it to get the gem. Then these drawers to take, nothing, and also nothing, and to dominoes we need to find to open the drawer. Now one more A gem is behind this box. Then let's walk further. So what's jump scare? Nope. Nothing is here. Nothing is here. These puzzles are to be solved a bit later. Checking these bushes. And that's the end. And to play these drums we need to find a drumstick. Oh, to open this door, we can solve just this weights puzzle. So we can see uh, different wages with different symbols, and we need to align all of them into this red line. So let's solve it like uh, that. Kokorovich and W, and the remaining sum for this last. We can arrange them in different order just to open this door and let's go in. Here, what can we see? Here, something is hiding. Oh, here's the chess king. Now let's go to the left, a drawer, a token, let's check the keys, this one is not, and this one is also not. Going to the, going further, flasks to check, and here's a puzzle, it's kind of a, a 15 so moving sliders puzzle game. And here in the book, it seems that we can see an image to solve, but let's try to make it. But you can see that this slider we can also only move to that position, so it should be top and left. And according to this image, we can see it is here. So now let's try to solve that puzzle. The bottom row is completed.
Uh, so you can see it is uh, impossible to solve that puzzle for we can swap these two tiles uh, unless we can't move something there now it seems to be a bug on this game so let I will show you the solution that can work so we need to move it like like that so this tile So it is like uh, that. You should remember this uh, image, and that. So it's kind of a bug in the game or something like that. I didn't solve it myself, so I looked at at another source. Okay, here's a puzzle to solve. So we need to find a hint for it. Let's go to the right now. Check the shelves for we have found. Uh, just skin here already. Now here's another lock. Let's just test these keys. Both doesn't fit. Another shelf. A uh, paper to fit here, and it's a hint for we will also use it far later. Another jump scare. Here's a beetle. This picture is also a hint to be used later. Now let's check this box. I think it's here. Maybe one of these keys is from the door. Nope, so we can't go further. Nothing is here, it's just a picture. Ok, let's go backward and check and check attentively for nothing we can do here, let's go backward also we have two keys so let's walk this line before we have a lock Okay, let's walk to this line for there's also was a lock somewhere. Nothing then go in here to open two more doors and go to the adjacent rooms. So this key is from the door. Let's open it and go there. And as always we go to the left. Get the piece of paper. Here's the hint of uh, chess. And we will solve the chess puzzle right now. So if we look we can see that it's pawn, tower, bishop, queen, king and horse. And horse is looking to the right. So here's the chess board. Let's place these figures here. And we can see that horse is looking to the left. So we need to replace according to the uh, according to the house is looking to the left for the hint is mirrored. It is like that. So we've got one more key. Now let's look. We have another part of the page. So we need to place it here and we will also 
find the place to use it. Here's a gem and behind this way this we can see another hint for we will also use it later and also another piece of paper and this piece of paper we can use somewhere. Let's take this key, this hint, we will go for it soon. A token to take a piece of paper under the clock and it also not for the book. Then here's the puzzle to solve. A beetle was in the tree and nothing, nothing else. So here's a door to go but we will go for it soon. Let's go backward to solve puzzles. The found key, maybe it's from that place, note. And not from here. found already both beetle one and two and now let's merge them so here we are to guess the correct sequence how to smash them and that's the correct sequence so we've got a two now let's walk that place. Let's check keys on this chest. We have one, two, and three keys we have, but none of them match. So then let's go there and solve this uh, puzzle to open that door we can see uh, clock hands one two three and four and also strange symbols the hint is in that book we need to find the needed page here it is and we can see that this curve is spiral then corner triangle and square so spiral means uh, only one line then we can see two lines it's corner three and four so one two three four and also images here one is three dots uh, lightning and two dots here it is second we have small big small small big and small here it is then third for triangles we have small big small with the big with the lightning inside it so the door is opened and we can go to another room. Here we can see sound is playing. But to repeat the sound we need to activate this mechanism. Let's open this place and here we are to set these gems. Let's place, we have found only three for now and we will find uh, the remaining later. Also drumstick here on the tube was and here's the final gem so let's uh, place it but we don't have a hint yet and it should be somewhere here so I will keep it not to not to lose and then let's go here and open another door did we check this key on this check on this chest yes we checked this one the 
second door and let's open the third door so maybe one of these keys are from that door yes it is so we came to another floor here's the dead end here we can see keys hiding behind this flower a page is needed also we have a tooth and this tooth is from that statue so we can place it here to have a small inventory items and here is the waist and behind the waist we have found a knife also place to use one of the flowers so another flower is to be found picture and nothing with it let's check I check keys one two and three so nothing works then here's a sudoku puzzle to solve we have fixed positions let's start so if we look at the number nine we have nine for this line we have nine for that line so for this sixth line and the middle square we can have only one place where we can set nine the same thing for seven and this square we have not here not here and uh, and then we need to check for for one one is not for that column not for that column so it can be here or there and this place is also occupied with this one so we can set one here and that way this cell is for the 7 the same logic we can get for digit 8 these two rows and these two columns are occupied so we can set 8 for this place and so on using uh, many of the logics and tries and fails it is a long way to solve it so I will show you the solution digits 1 here there one one then digit two that is my solution maybe other solution is possible but I don't think so what it is was hard to solve for that puzzle then digit 4 and then 5 6 7 8 and remaining cells are for digit 9 you can take a part of the ring another jump scare don't be afraid I'm with you now let's go to the right and and nothing we can do here so what's next next we have a knife and if we look at the book here's a hint that we have sound and cloud and knife to use on it the picture of the sun and cloud we can see it seems that in this room we have seen it or it 
was in the very first room. of paper we need to live here for a while so where is this picture is we don't know yet so it is a sometimes a bit hard to find the necessary room where the object is but we can cut it and get and get a key but some why it is an eye is written here let's check it right here and here's a piece of paper this piece is right from that book we can see that this hint is for these switches okay now it's only left to find this drawer with the with the switches let's check once again it is not here and here it is up down up up down up down up up down next row up up down up 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 down up down and up down up down down so inside here's a piece of a uh, paper Now let's go there. Oh, we have one of these papers, so third we need to find. Then there is a chest. nothing here let's go to the to the very first room we are there and here we have a puzzle to solve or we have a token to place here now uh, we have a book and in the book here's a hint these four strange symbols or we need to align them here in a row. Oh, one more thing is needed. So then let's walk there. Now we can see another hint. So we can see three symbols. And these three symbols are the hint for the puzzle in this room. So we need to go to the left and find it at this chest. We have this red highlighted diagonal and we need to align these symbols here. So the first. and the second and the third
all of the might line and we've got one, one more paper with a hint so then in this room I have drawers to take and also place to check the keys so second flower okay since we are here let's check these flasks another lock to open and here's the puzzle to solve so let's connect uh, the tiles of the same button with the same line so if we can see this these two are near and we can easily connect them the same here we don't need to I feel all the board with these lines so just to connect later and the lock to door but let's try the keys we can open it and let's go there okay we will investigate this room later now we need to run to the flowers and the flowers are the new key is also not useful flowers are here so we can place the flower and now we need to, to rearrange them correctly the hint we can find in the very first room it seems not there but in the second room going to the left and here we can see columns with two flowers one flower three two one so two one three two one let's arrange two one three two one so here's another piece of paper and let's place all these pieces to the needed positions Okay, so these pieces are not from the book. A drawer to open it. Let's check these keys. Only one key we have, so it is not from the drawer. Now, now we can go. Oh, here's a place to to use it, and we have a hint, but it's not time to use it. So we need to remember where we can have met it. Let's go to that room and investigate it. And as always, we need to go to the left. So puzzle to solve. And here we are to make the picture. Hint is also in this book. Here we can see this flying beetle. 
but we can see that if we rotate one wheel others are also rotating and only this one rotates uh, independent we we don't don't need to match the direction with the hint but we need to match the image that and the last thing to make now something is wrong Let's check. Looks like that, but but okay. Let's turn it upside down to look to this direction. Okay, let's align it forward. And so we want one more token. And then going to find more hint. nothing going to the right this hint we will use also a bit later what's this chest it needs coins we don't have coins yet here we need to find the token okay let's check the key and we have opened the door but let's walk there and walk backward to look further now here's a puzzle to solve and to solve that puzzle let's walk backward to this room oh we have a hint on the wall here it is we can see that it is balanced scales and the sum is 72 so 72 means it's divided in three branches so it branch is equals to 24 24 here 24 and 24 then it's 12 12 12 12 and then this is 8 8 and 8 so we need to define which item equals to what number and then Oh, we don't have a hint yet sorry so then let's walk there and here it is has fallen and what else and nothing else 
but we can go out and in and this fallen skull is on this place but it gives nothing uh, then this shelves nothing we can move this bush to take a piece of paper also we have this blue ball to match to one of these eyes of this cattle skull so two more balls to find then this puzzle we don't have a hint yet and what else we have found the second token to use here and this disk so go into the very first room and here's place to use it and then let's look once again at this hint so these four symbols we need to align on these highlighted positions let's do it this one is already here but this one should be on this place then for this position we need to move like that and for this position it's this items to go there now we've got another piece of paper and then this is a real hint that we need to place it here and we have one two three four and the colors are red blue white and yellow so we need to run to this room here is the sound and once again so we have first is red blue white and yellow red blue white means uh, this uh, turquoise and yellow so it is everything is correct and now we can pull that lever to play the tune on this tube so once again we need to go there and oops So we have heard the sound and we need to repeat it. So let's do it like that. This one to the lower. And so uh, that's from the hole three, one, four, none, and two. And let's play the tune. And we've got a domino so nothing left to do in his room let now let's go to that room and here is the place to a place to solve another puzzle for we have the third piece of paper and now let's rotate them till we can get an image So we've got a paper. Paper is with a hint to place somewhere here. And here we have placed it, but we don't have a real place to use it. Then let's look at another hint. For we have seen that puzzle somewhere near it and here it is so we have sequence 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 as a start and the other uh, sequence we need to guess so let's start 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then nine not here one two three 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And on that room, let's go there. Here's place to use an eye, but we don't have found the hint. We can place this domino. have a, a piece of this hint and we need to remember position of these blank squares so let's run to that room and here we are to solve it we need to uh, leave these squares only on black cells so we've got one more coin then let's go here and the key from the chest so the key should be in the book but we don't see the hint yet and next let's go to this room we have two more puzzles unsolved there and here we can see the strange faces the same we can meet here in the book and this one is the first and the anti uh, counterclockwise direction so this should be first let's set the first dial to this face second face is like uh, that it's like a wasp eyes the third with the square eyes it is already there and the fourth is I don't know how it is called but like that so we've got one more tooth another lock we can find here and it needs five digits to enter so first of all we need to go to that room and here we can see and here you can see uh, lines so this red uh, dot is a clue and let's remember the sequence one two three four five so uh, the, it's the first part of the hint and second part of the hint is here so here we can see the same symbol on this hint and if we join uh, these numbers with the same lines we can get it is seven five three eight nine seven five three eight nine let's set seven five three eight and nine and here's a key to take what's under it nothing else So we have two unused keys and let's find try to find the place to use them. And the first location to go is here. Okay, it, it fits and now here's a hint in the book with these dials and here you can see the first is to look up and right then down and down left up and right down down left so we have found the third ball then also we have one more key and there's something uh, was a coffin not here It's 
not. Now here's a, a log. Then also here we have a log. Here's a puzzle of a disk we have found. And then going here for we have here's a place to use the third bob and get a part of the paper so let's see what's inside it and uh, we can see a sequence of symbols so it is the right for this room and for the chest here to to open it so first is like uh, like something so one two three four five okay let's do them the first second third and the fifth and another uh, hint let's also place it here's the place for it and we can see it is a uh, curve so we need to match left and right pages so the curve and uh, if we see how so we need to put this curve on these dials so we can see if we put this curve on this dial so we can get these positions like one two three four five two one and four five two one and and so go into the left to use this hint to open this coffin we have five two one and four so we've got one more dragon scale and there's some were placed to use it and here it is so let's insert it and now what do we have we need to insert them in the correct order one two three four One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven and eight now that's done and we what uh, ruby then with this ruby so we need to find find the hint for it so here we can see this hint the same symbol that are on these rubies are on this image and then run into the location number one and one and here we are to place them so we need to take them this one is for the bottom and right this middle and right this one goes to the top bottom and left and middle and left so we've got another piece of paper let's set it somewhere and we can see it is a hint 
So now jump into location to one. Here we can see clock. And so these levels of these houses, according to these jails, are the hints of relative this top. And two, three, one, three. Two, three, one, and three. So also here in this books, I have found one more piece of the paper. It's in this location. So now this uh, piece of paper is the hint that is needed to solve a puzzle. Here's this place, and we have a sequence of. S okay, let's f go to this puzzle. And here is this chest to open. We can see the same objects. So the hint you can find here on this picture. So it is 24, 24, and then it is 12. So we can count that two crowns are 12. So crown is 6. Then also 12 is here. And then this crystal ball is equals to 3. And then here we can see each branch is eight so mirror is five and then we can see five and three is eight so book is four then if book is four then skull is two and two and then it's three and three and the candle is one so going again to this location and to, we need to arrange them like six. It is crown for the first. Then three. Three is three is crystal ball. And then five. Five is a mirror. It is already there. Then four and one. So four is book and one is candle. And we got one more domino. So now we need to move to this room two and three to the left. And here's the place to open the drawer with these dominoes. So we can see four, three, one, and two. This means that we need to pair dominoes the way that the difference between them is one, two, three, and four. You can see. So here's two and one, the difference is one. Now here we can see eight, and let's place it here. So eight and four is, difference is four. Then here's six and three, and four and two. So the drawer is opened, we can get uh, one another key. Okay, let's try to use this key to open, to open. Let's try to open the coffin. Inside here's a gear. And now let's go to the left and use the second gear on that place. So we can see it rotates and shows highlighted symbols. And this position is blank, so it's start point. And while it rotates, we can get the sequence of one symbol, two, three, and four. So now the symbols we need to use on this place. And that like on the first, second, third, and the fourth. So here's a paper, a paper with a hint, and we have it's a first part of the hint. Now let's find the second part, and uh, we need to go to this place. So here's a note, 
and this node is for this picture so we can see uh, the set of three eyes here and set of three eyes here so this is the first part and this is the second part of directions for the eyes and here we are to place the missing eye and then to rotate them uh, like that So we've got a key. Now let's try this key on that place. Then this key is for another place. And here you can see four uh, shapes and we need to set the correct colors them. Uh, the hint consists of two parts. The first part I can get from here. Here on the shelf we can see the same symbols, shapes and the second is here the circle with the same uh, shapes and colors. So we have triangle is for this kind of a purple. Then rhombus is red and this cut triangle is green. So now let's set them uh, green. This purple or that set it blue and this red or oh, vice versa this red and this one is blue. So inside there's one more tooth and this tooth a tooth hole here for this idol and we have one more paper now it is to place somewhere here it is to place and we can see five symbols that we need to highlight so we have moved there and now we need to highlight the same symbols on this door let's remember them one two three this one and this And we've got a button. So now go into uh, this room. And here's the puzzle to use this wooden button. And our task here is to slide these symbols to the proper positions. So first we have moved this triangle here for it can be final to move down and to the right now let's do the following trick this one to stop here and go to the left and then we need to move this curve back to its starting position and then let's do it like that and like that and then here and there this one to block the way for the cross once again to its position and the final is triangle to move so that's done we've got a coin now here's a chest to put all the three coins inside the part of the disk and it's so we need to find this disk it's somewhere 
near. It seems to be in this room. Oh, here it is. So we've got another piece of paper. And if we place it here, we can see the sequence of drums to play. So drums are in the room two, three. Let's look at it once again. Take the drumstick and play. So this one we can call like gear, three, flower, web, pentagon and pentagon. Then another gear, another gear, web, common gear, flower, flower and three. So that's done, we've got a key. There was one more place to check for the key to open and it's somewhere here it is. And inside here's a heart that now we can finally put in the bowl and finish the game. There's also one more part of the page is not found so maybe it's if you know where to find it please write it in comments but now let's play the heart here and finish the game so if this video walkthrough helped you please leave likes subscribe and bye So maybe it is the next chapter will come.